Another room tour with Sev Hipsch. Uh, I'm in Omaha, Nebraska. Room 248, La Quinta. And I have to say that I'm a little disappointed because La Quinta is supposed to be um, at a higher tier than like a Days in or Super 8. Um, it is a little dated, definitely a um, fake um, wood laminate. You can tell like the fixtures are kind of older, like the sink. I don't even know if they have a perfectly round or almost round sink and stock it like Hose, Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, carpet is kind of soiled. Um, TV looks like it was just ripe, wiped with the rag that wiped everything else, probably including the toilet. Uh, refrigerator has grime on it. Uh, beds look comfortable. Fabric chairs or fabric furniture in commercial settings is just a big no-no. And this is why, look at the stains. If that was vinyl or leather or faux leather, that would just wipe clean with a good disinfectant cleaner. Uh, there we go. Lampshade has some stains and damages as usual. For La Quinta, I would expect better. Uh, while we're at the PTAP, let's check the filters. Easy maintenance item, neglected. This property looks like it was built in the early to mid 80s, uh, judging by the aluminum. Oh, wow, the. The argon gas in between the panes have, has uh, escaped and um, air has been let through and this is what happens as a result. Windows are no good for insulation value anymore so they need to be replaced. Um, tracks are average, they're not like dead bugs and spiders and stuff in there. Um, some reason the window wasn't locked. I think this is a digital PTAC, yeah, a mana. Um, if I build a house, I will not put something there in. I'll <laughs> you gotta love it when the covers fall off. Um, anyways, if I build a house or remodel a house, I'm not gonna put central air in because I don't wanna pay 10 to $15,000 I would just as soon put a couple P tax in. They're about a thousand dollars a piece, so about three thousand dollars for you know a smaller house. So you don't even need. I don't even think you would need three P tax for a small house. If I built a house, it'd be like six hundred square feet. So one uh, properly sized P tax could do the job. Anyways, look at the carpet. I own a commercial grade rug doctor. It's a Mighty Pro X3. And uh, it's heavy duty. If I, if I live in an apartment, no less, I don't even have a house yet. And I own a commercial grade heavy duty carpet cleaner. There's no excuse for a hotel not to. I mean, heck, go to Walmart and even get a Bissell. Seriously. I mean, you, ha you have to expect stains, you know, with guests. Um, so you need to be prepared. Bathroom is dated. When was the last time you've ever seen a tiled bathroom? It's been a really long time. Usually they have heavy grade laminate or bigger tiles. The small subway style uh, tiles are uh, pretty outdated. Um, really tiny bathroom. Um, you can tell it's an older toilet. Ew, wood toilet seat. unsanitary doesn't look like it's been breached yet breached as in like the la the coating but it'll eventually happen and it's gross when it does 
the tub could definitely use a good good cleaning. Um, I'm sure barkeeper's friend could clean that up. Um, little disappointed because I've stayed in motel, uh, motel 6s, which are like the lowest of the low for um, franchise um, hotels, and they were better. So one of the chairs are vinyl. It's a weird kind of texture, though. Interesting. I think it was reupholstered. It's pretty old. Probably from the 80s originally. It's <clears throat> a little disappointed with... I expected a little bit better. The Super 8 I stayed at recently in Columbia was really, really nice. Uh, you know, for the brand of La Quinta, I would expect better. You got some kind of chocolate or something on there. You got grime. The headboards do look clean. This, fil this fixture looks like it's from the 80s or 90s. Well, 90s because it has a data port. It's definitely 90s. You don't have uh, people carrying laptops that are three inches thick with modems anymore. Definitely a 90s fixture. Um, I am a little concerned with, you know, the different cleanliness. So there's a spill there. So they probably spilled like soda or something. How hard is it to buy a $100 carpet cleaner? I mean, if you don't want to buy a heavy duty extractor, mine, I paid $350 for mine. For a hotel, that's a bargain. Uh, some commercial grade extractors go up to $1,000, which would still be a good investment because it's cheaper to buy an extractor than it is to um, replace carpet. And you'll have to replace carpet if you don't address the stains because the stains will set eventually and they'll be hard. As time goes on, it's harder to get out of the carpet. Um, exhaust fan is all dusty. It's within reaching. I mean, you don't have to be super tall to reach it. It's on the wall. How hard is that to clean? Just little things like that. There isn't a microwave, but there is, like I said, a fridge, and it's dirty on the outside. Let's look at the inside. It's fairly clean, but it does have an odor. So he must have had some kind of sandwich subway or something in there. I would expect better for a La Quinta. This would be day's end standard. So I, I've been told that La Quinta is supposed to be a little more premium like a comfort in. This isn't premium. This is, I think, honestly, if I was the CEO of Wyndham, which is the parent company of La Quinta, Days In, Super 8, and so on, if I walked into a room like this, I'd give them one week to address. Oh my gosh, I just noticed this. There is a bag over the smoke alarm. What's with that? They must have painted recently. Interesting. I do like the, I like, and that's like something I want to put in my bathroom if I build or remodel a house. I like uh, the over the vanity, um, fluorescent tube lighting. Um, I like the subtle dated look. Subtle meaning like it looks like it can go either way, but this is definitely stuck in the 80s with just a few upgrades thrown in. Like the carpet is newer, but just not maintained. Um, it's kind of frustrating how the carpet is not clean. 
when that's so easy to address. I mean, you take the room out of commission for about a day or two to let the carpet dry. Probably not even that. If you start in the morning, the carpet will be dry and vacuumable in the evening. It's definitely a disappointment. Um, haven't been to La Quinta. The last La Quinta I've been in a long time it was almost three years ago. And it was decent. But this is not La Quinta standards from what I understand about the Wyndham structure. Um, you have Travelodge, it starts at the bottom, Super 8 is next up, Days in, and then there's La Quinta, and then from there there's like the fancier, like the Wyndham hotels, the actual full service hotels are on top of La Quinta. This, I've been to Super 8s that are nicer. Um, just kind of disappointed. Uh, this place doesn't even have a pool. Um, I booked it with the, you know, the understanding that yes, it, I knew it didn't have a pool, but I, you know, just expected a, a cleaner, um, more updated experience. But this is a disappointment, um, <laughs> to say the least. You can tell. Um, that there's another sign of uh, this place being a little outdated. The sleeve that the PTAC slides into, the sleeve is the actual box that the PTAC slides into to go outside. Um, the older PTACs, I think the GEs, um, back in the day GE was, and Carrier was another uh, big brand too, GE and Carrier. They had uh, P-Tacs that had a base at the bottom. You see that thing that sticks out at the bottom? Um, that's where the plug plugs into. Um, that's definitely from a relic from the 80s. And the thing with P-Tacs is that they're standardized size for the most part. I believe it's 42 inches wide. Um, so that's why they can use the existing sleeve. The sleeve is um, this part. Um, this front part, the machine slides into this sleeve, this box here, the steel box. So if this dies or they ever update the um, hotel, they can pull this out and put even another brand in, an LG, a Friedrich, um, GE, you know, whatever. There's also some no-name Chinese brands like Gree, I think, is one of them. Um, that's a nice thing about PTAC, and that's one of the reasons why I want to do uh, go the PTAC route if I build a house, because it's a lot cheaper to replace a PTAC than to repair a central heating or air conditioning heat pump system. Um, you know, the junk that's put out these days don't last as long as, say, something 20, 30 years ago uh, with the new refrigerants and everything. Um, compressors made in China. Um, condensers, evaporator coils, all made in China, thinner, uh, low grade quality, uh, more susceptible to leaks. So a PTAC runs about a thousand dollars. You'll spend that much in a repair for a system that's not guaranteed to last. Whereas with a PTAC, you get a brand new system for about a thousand dollars or so. And any anybody that uh, can turn a screwdriver can install a PTAC because if the sleeve's already in the wall. You literally just undo the screws, um, you pop off the grill, the, uh, the fascia, you pop that off and then there's on the chassis there's some screws that you can remove to pop, slide this out, slide a new one in. It's literally plug and play. Uh, plug it in and then you're, you're all set. Um, that way you don't have to pay expensive HVAC repair bills. You know, if you have a smaller house, it's just you might as well. Um, anyways. There is, you can't really see it, but there's a Village Inn. That's where I'll be eating dinner. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this video um, and go over to dinner. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.